I'm so glad you guys came up. Good job, by the way. You told us the Christmas story, and that's excellent. And you did a wonderful job. And I'm thankful to God that you used your gifts to point Jesus, point people to Jesus, is what I want to say. There, what I want to share with you today, though, you saw that there are trees in the church, right? Where are they? There you go. They're in the back, right? Behind us, and then there's one out front. But I'll, it's these two I want to draw your attention to. What color are the trees? No, no, not the lights. The trees. They're green. Okay, will they turn brown eventually? No, they won't. No, they won't. They'll stay green because they are evergreens, right? Those are trees that stay green the entire year. And so that reminds us that God wants us to live forever, green being the color of life. Okay, but now, the color of the lights, what do we got up there? All right, so multicolored. That's pretty general, though. Can you be more specific? Well, okay. Okay, there, so there's a red one up there. There's a red light up there, right? And there's green, blue, pur purple, and you said yellow or gold, right? Yep, that would be a good color. All right, so what? Yes green. The colors up there remind us that Jesus is the light of the world all year long. And here's how I get to that. The green color lights. That is the color in the church that we use for two seasons, Epiphany and Pentecost. Epiphany happens in January and into February. And Pentecost usually starts right around May and lasts until October. Okay, so you will see green up here, and Pastor and I, when we're wearing our robes, we wear green for that, those seasons. There's also blue up there, and you see that we already have blue, right? The blue is the color of Advent, the four weeks before Christmas. And we have red up there, and red is a very specific color. It's the color of Pentecost Sunday, it's the color of Reformation Day, it's the color of Confirmation Day, and it's the color of any time we recognize a saint day, like St. Matthew or St. Mark or something like that. So we use those. And when somebody is ordained into the pastoral ministry, like Pastor Ryan was in July this last year, we wore red. The gold is the color of Easter and Christmas. A lot of times you'll see white up here, but gold is also one of the colors that shows that Christ is our king. So I got red, I got green, I've got gold, we've got blue, and the last one is purple. And purple is the color of Lent. And Lent this year, coming up, begins on February 14th and will end on Good Friday in March. So it reminds us that Jesus is with us all year round. So this is new for us here at St. Matthew. Up until this point, we had trees, but there were only white lights on them. And now we have, for the first time in 30 years, new trees. And we have multicolored lights with those five colors on it to remind us that Jesus is our Lord all year round. Okay? So, can you fold your hands? Can you bow your heads? Can you say what I say? Dear God, we thank you for Jesus, who is the light in our hearts. Help us to shine to everyone the light of Jesus. In his name we pray. And how do God's people end prayers? What do you say? Amen. Very good.